Women, you know, when they get together, they're, they, they're a force to contend with. So what does it mean? It means this is an opportunity for women to focus on issues and band together and actually try to get change. We all have obstacles. Uh, for me, it's, uh, it's really sort of just the, the frustration of, of never doing my job well enough. I always want to do it better. And there's sort of a practical aspect of being on television is that you know that you, there are some issues that may be near and dear to your heart. I mean, I'd love to have everyone focusing on the Sudan and, the, and what's going on there with President Bashir, who's essentially torturing families in the New Mountain region. But I know that the American people aren't interested in that. They, quite understandably, they're interested in jobs and, you know, and the economy. So one of my obstacles is, is how do I take something that's near and dear to my heart and you know, get other people interested in it, on these issues, um, and at the same time, recognize what's important to them. So my biggest obstacle is sort of the, the juggle of what matters to me at a particular time and trying to get others interested in it, but never denying the fact that there may be far more important things in their lives to them. Well, I have an idea. Let's take the budget. We're deeply divided on that. We have Senator Patty Murray in the Senate and Congressman Paul Ryan in the House working on a solution. Why don't we all agree now to accept their solution instead of uh, waiting till we, till we see it and digging our heels in the ground and fighting something, finding something to fight over? Because any solution by these two is going to be better than nothing. If they can agree on something, let's try it. That would certainly help. Um, as the question on bipartisanship, remember that when women first began to populate the Senate more, they used to meet the Republican and, and Democratic senators, women senators used to meet. More of that, the better, because it's really hard. If, if you like someone, it's a lot harder to say something nasty about them, and it's a lot, a lot more difficult not to listen to them. So I think the idea is like, you know, we ought to get our members of Congress to know each other a little bit better, so at least they sit down and talk to each other. And the American people, we have to stop fueling that divide. We have to have a willingness as well. It can't just be them.